Hello, in this video we're going to do some labor economics. We're going to see how welfare benefits impact the labor supply decision. We're going to start the case where we have no welfare benefits. Here is the consumer's utility function. It is a function of C, consumption, and L, hours of leisure. So C is consumption measured in dollars, and L is hours of leisure. H will represent hours of work. There are 24 hours to allocate between leisure and hours of work. So 24 will equal L plus H, or if we solve this for H, hours of work will equal 24 minus hours of leisure. This person earns a wage of $10 if they work. Let's form the person's budget constraint. So consumption will equal the wage times hours of work, where the wage is $10. And for H, we're going to substitute in 24 minus L and now multiply 10 times 24 and 10 times negative L. We have our constraint here. Next, we'll get the marginal utility consumption, taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to consumption. We get L squared. And the marginal utility of leisure is 2CL. Forming our utility maximizing condition, where the marginal rate of substitution equals a wage, the marginal rate of substitution will be the marginal utility of leisure divided by the marginal utility of consumption, and that's set equal to ten dollars the wage. Making our substitutions into this formula, plugging in the marginal utility of leisure in the numerator and the marginal utility of consumption in the denominator, we're going to simplify this down a little bit. So just rewriting that last step, the L and the L squared will give us the following, and now solving for C and dividing through by 2, C will equal 5L. Here is our budget constraint, and now we're just going to set the two C's equal to one another. We've got two C equations, so setting C equal to C. Now we've got one equation, one unknown. Let's add 10L to both sides, and now divide through by 15. The person will take 16 hours of leisure, and since there's 24 hours in a day, 24 minus 16 hours of leisure means the person will be working 8 hours. With 8 hours work, being paid $10 an hour, the person will be able to buy $80 worth of consumption goods. Taking our utility function and now plugging in 80 for C and 16 for L and simplifying, we solve for the person's level of utility. Now let's look at the case where this person has access to welfare benefits. It's going to be a take it or leave it type scenario. If the person does not work, does not work, she is eligible to receive $40 per day of welfare benefits. If the person works, she is no longer eligible for welfare benefits. So only non-workers receive this $40 per day. What is the utility maximizing hours of work with the welfare benefits? Without work, the person receives 24 hours of leisure and $40 of welfare benefits to spend on consumption. Here's our utility function. Plugging in 40 for C and 24 in for L, the person receives a utility of 23,040. We'll notice here that the utility with welfare is greater than the utility of working without welfare. So the person chooses not to work, the utility maximizing hours of work here will equal zero. Okay, that's it. 